Oh my God, this is wild. I'm not even using swap memory, so this is like mind blowing. Is the M1 Pro MacBook with 16 gigabytes enough for music production? Well, let's find out today. If you want more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so YouTube promotes more videos like this to you. And also hit that like button because it helps out with the channel. What's up gang? I had a question that I just want to answer and just try out myself because I honestly haven't seen it on YouTube. I see other people talk about is the M1 Pro computers are good enough for this and that and the third. And every time they're testing out this laptop, they always have the best specs. They're always using the M1 Max. They always have like 64 gigabytes of RAM. They always have 32 gigabytes of RAM. Well, in this case, I don't have that. You know, I have the 16 gigabyte version and like I wanted the actual 32 gigabyte of RAM version, but you know, it was just taking way too long on shipping time. I didn't have that type of time to wait and I, I just needed a new computer ASAP. And I just said, let's get to 16 and it should be good enough. Well, let's find out if it's really good enough or not. And let me just show you how fast it takes to open up Pro Tools. I got my stopwatch right here. So let's just see exactly how long Pro Tools takes to open up on the M1 Pro computer. All right, we got this thing started up. And just like that, it actually took me 24 seconds to upload Pro Tools. I don't know how long it takes for you guys on your computers, but on my Razer Blade computer, it literally takes like at least like five to seven to 10 minutes at least to upload Pro Tools by itself. Like it is ridiculous. It takes forever. So this is show you, you know, this is, this is really good, bro. Like regardless of what you guys think, you might not really need a 32 gigabyte version. And I'm starting to actually think I'm, I'm actually really surprised I didn't pay more when I was really trying to, I was getting mad. Like, uh, I don't want the 16 gigabyte version. I want the, you know, the, more than that, but you really don't need that. You know what I'm saying? So I actually have a session here pulled up. This is a, a full session, like with track outs, vocals and everything on it and literally like a bunch of different plugins like everything on it and let's just check out the ram uses real quick okay so here you can check the ram uses here so you can see right now with this application up with all these plugins and everything like that some of them actually majority of them are actually in one compatible i honestly don't know i don't even think i have rosetta downloaded i've never seen any Rosetta apps or anything like that pop up and say, hey, you're installing Rosetta or this and that and the third. So I don't really know, to be honest with you, but I do know every plugin that I'm using, every company like Waves, Slate Digital, even Pro Tools themselves, MSDSP, PSP AudioWare, they all are M1 compatible. And hit that like button because it helps out game. So as you can see, I have a 16 gigabyte RAM computer and right now it's using 12 gigabytes right now. And let's just see if this changes if I play the session. Gotta watch your back cause I'm traumatized. Back to back flights, gotta hit the time. Plastic clock on me and it's modified. Don't be lacking. Okay, okay, okay. So it's not too much. So the only thing I can really think of is, you know, let's try to overkill this computer. Like let's duplicate the tracked out beat. Every track has a plugin in it or majority of them have a plugin in it. So let's just duplicate all all the tracked out tracks for the beat and let's just see what it sounds like yo real quick hit the like button again because it helps out with the channel okay so it's it is giving me a little issue here but that's only because i ran out of memory on my uad console i'm actually using a couple apps right now for this tutorial video let's just go ahead and just click it anyway let's just, let's see what's okay so i have the beat is tracked out twice let's see if it still plays I'm actually using less memory. Honestly, this test might be harder to try out because the new Pro Tools is actually very well optimized. Even on my PC computer, I used to have issues with RAM and stuff like that. No issues at all. So Pro Tools is really optimized for computers, period. It's not just M1 MacBooks. So if you hear somebody in the comments saying, get the 32 version, you might be just spending more money for nothing. All right, so now let's try something else. Let's try to duplicate all my vocals even my aux channels and all that. Let's try to break this thing. I, I don't think I'll be able to break it. I don't know, man. Let's let's try to do something different. Like I said, we're with a 16 gigabyte version. We should get res some type of breakage or results or something. I don't know what to say. Again, I'm running out of memory on my universal audio and I'm using a quad just by the, so you know, by the way, uh, I'm using a lot of DSP power already, so. That's not gonna work, but all my other plugins should should work. So let's see what's, what goes on. Gotta watch your back, cause I'm traumatized. 
That sounds terrible. Um, yeah, so as you can see, man, look, I, I literally duplicated this whole entire session twice and nothing. Like, look at this. This is ridiculous. All these plugins on this session and it's not breaking a sweat. It's not breaking no sweat. And on top of that, I'm recording this, this tutorial. So this is amazing. <laughs> I'm not even using swap memory. So this is like mind blowing. Okay, um, how many tracks is this? I don't even know how many tracks this is. How do I tell how many tracks this is? Like literally, I'm using hundreds of tracks right now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is highlight every single track and let's just duplicate it one more time just to see if it starts to break a sweat. All right, gang, so I got everything highlighted. I'm just gonna duplicate it just to see what happens, man. I, I you know, hopefully this thing doesn't explode on me. I don't wanna start no demos. Oh, dang, it's too late. <sighs> Okay, can't even use it. Okay, I just heard something. I think it's starting. I think it's starting to overkill a little bit. I mean, it's playing. No, it's chilling. Oh my God, this is wild. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I could break this thing, guys. So let's go ahead and upload FL Studio and let's just see, can we break this thing? with the 16 gigabyte version M1 Pro computer. All right, gang, so I have a beat pulled up that with different VSTs and stuff like that. I actually made this beat on my Razor Blade laptop, but I just pulled up this session into my M1 MacBook computer, and let's just see if we can duplicate a lot of these VSTs to break this thing. Right now, I have my activity monitor pulled up, and you can see right now, I'm really not using many, you know, as much memory right now, you know what I'm saying? You can see. FL Studio is really only taking up like two gigs. So let's just see if that actually changes when I play the beat. Okay, so you can see here it's not changing at all. It's still saying two gigabytes of RAM. This, this is super nice. So let's go ahead and try to break this thing. Let's go ahead and uh, duplicate all my VSTs. Like I said, this is the 16 gigabyte version. Let's just go ahead and duplicate all this. Let's duplicate this five times at least. Every single VST, every single drum th that we have in here, at least five times. All right, gang, so I literally have everything duplicated at least five times. Now let's just see, does this play or not? No issues. Okay, now we got four gigabytes. Okay, so we're doing something. Okay, so that's a little bit loud, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's playing it. It's, it's not breaking or anything. So, like I said, 16 gigabytes. This is literally overkill for a beat right now that I would normally do. Uh, I would not use at least, like, how many Omnispheres? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten different Omnispheres. Um, let's play at a different part of the beat. Maybe this was... Yeah, it works just fine. Literally, I, I could probably keep going on and on and on, but it's it's really no point, man, because you, most of you guys aren't gonna be using this amount of Omnispheres on a beat. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna be doing all this type of stuff like on a beat, like it's literally overkill at this point. And there's no point in just continuing. Just know that the 16 gigabyte version will be able to handle pretty much anything you throw at it. You don't need to go out and get the 32 gigabyte RAM version of this laptop. You can use the 16 gigabyte version and be just fine, especially if you're doing music production. Now, if you're doing like video editing, then yeah, I'll probably say then go get the Max and stuff like that. Uh, but not even that, like I'm, I'm using this for video editing myself and it's perfect. I don't even have no issues with this computer. I would say this now I do record all my videos and, and stuff like that in 1080p I can't record in 4k but you know I do upscale it into 4k and edit it in in 4k so gotcha bitch you know what I'm saying you might you might not know that but hey it still works perfectly fine I literally have no issues with this computer this video is sponsored by themusicgang.com if you guys want to get templates for making beats faster or pro tools to mix and master faster they'll be a link in the description you guys should be using these templates to making music a lot faster without worrying about getting a good sound. So you have more time to focus on actually creating the music. Personally, I feel everybody should be using templates. It just saves so much time when you're creating music. 
Link in the description. Get your copy today. Don't listen to anyone telling you get 32 gigabytes of memory. Get the 16 gigabyte. It's good enough. I promise you. I haven't had any issues. This is perfect. Yo, real quick, hit the like button again because it helps out with the channel. Let me know what other videos you want to see on this channel. You guys stay safe. And remember, it's only a matter of time. Peace.